Here you go, guys. Here's, here's a tip for you. Now, if you go onto Google, YouTube, you'll find all kinds of these. Uh, how much gas is, how do I weigh my tank, and uh, do I need to fill, all that kind of stuff. Uh, uh, but I have a very, very simple way, and, and I'm not the originator of this, to tell how much propane is left in my cylinder. And the reason you want to do this is, is, is simple. You take your propane tank from your barbecue or your RV or wherever you burn or whatever you're using it for. You take your propane tank in and you think it's getting low, and you take it into the, to the, to the filling station, they'll fill it for you. Okay, this is a 20 pound propane, and on the wall you see the prices, you know, 10 pound, 20, 30, 100, and the 20 pound propane tank is whatever it is, $40, not that much, whatever it is. So that's the price to fill a 20 pound propane bottle. Now if your propane bottle is completely empty, and they have to fill it, 40 bucks or more, whatever the price is, that's the price, that's fair enough. But suppose your propane bottle is half full, and you didn't realize that. Or, 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 or you weren't, didn't know how to measure it. You knew there was some in there because you can actually feel it. Propane is a liquid. I'm sure you know that. It's a li oh, there's something in there. Uh, and, and so it's half full. <laughs> you don't pay half price. No, 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 no. You take it in, it's half full. You say, I just want the top half filled. As opposed to the bottom half, you get that, right? Anyway, <laughs> you just want it topped up. There is no top up. You look on the list, there is no top up price. No, you pay 40 bucks. And that's not only a nuisance, but you did all that trouble. You disconnected it, you put it in the car, and you took it in, and you waited in line, and that. So it's good to know how much propane is left. And you don't need to know exactly, but it's nice to know that there's some left. How do you do that? Well, that's really very simple. Look on the, on the guard, the valve guard on the top of the tank. There's really only a couple of numbers that are important to you. One is, there's a W, and after the W it says uh, 47.6. W is the weight when it's full of water. Let me explain that when it's full of water, it will not work on your barbecue. You don't fill it with water. Nobody fills them with water except for the manufacturer. And all he does is fill them with water so he can stick a number on there that he knows how much is in there. In other words, that number means nothing. Forget it. Okay, go on to the next one. The next one is important. TW. TW. T, Tom, W, Wendy. 18. TW18. That is tear. T A R E. Tear weight. That's a tear weight, 18 pounds, which means when this is completely empty, brand spanking new off the shelf, never been filled, 18 pounds. 18 pounds when it's empty. Tear weight, okay? That's important. So, all you need to know is the tear weight, and then this particular tank is a 20 pound tank. They're easy to spot, 5, 10, 20, 30, and like that. Uh, it's easy to spot that. So this is a 20 pound tank with a tear weight of 18. I wrote this down uh, for you to be able to see. So here's the information on your propane tank. The tear weight, TW, the tear weight is 18 pounds, right? Okay, and <clears throat> the propane, uh, and they're different sizes, the propane weighs 20 pounds. So when this tank is completely full, it weighs 38 pounds. Just that simple. Okay? So how do we know how much propane? Well, weigh the darn thing. Weigh it. So if, if we weigh this, I'm going to show you this in a second. Let's say, for example, we weigh this tank and let's say it weighs 27 pounds. Okay? 27 pounds, the weight of the whole thing. Tear weight is 18, so take off the tear weight is 18, which means now there's 9 pounds of propane. A full tank has got 20. Nine is pretty close to half of that. So this tank is half full. Let me show you how that works. The easiest way <clears throat> to weigh this is with a little travel, one of these little neat little a luggage uh, scale. And so, so you just put the luggage scale in there and hook it on like that. And, and you, you, you um, set the tank <clears throat> down like this. You can read it. I don't know if you can see that or not, Kevin. Doesn't matter, I can read it. And we're gonna lift it now. Let's see how much this sucker weighs. 20.5. So, what did I say here? 20.5. So, if the weight is 20.5, and you take off the 18, you end up with 2 pounds. And uh, that is how much propane is in there. If you're 2 pounds, it's time to get it filled. Okay? Because you're down to a tenth, 1 10%. If it was at 
if it was 27 minus 18 and 9, it's half full. You're okay for a while. So anyway, that's the simplest way. Find the tear weight, weigh the tank, and the difference between the weight of the tank with propane minus tear weight is how much propane is in there. It's supposed to be a 20-pound tank. You got five pounds of propane in there. That's a quarter of a 20-pound tank. Is that easy? Yeah, it's nice and simple and easy and clean. I thought I'd do that for you because somebody asked the other day, you know, I got a couple of propane tanks, Alec. I don't know if there's propane or not. It's simple. Weigh them. Okay. Talk to you soon. Alec Pierce at the ranch. Got more things to show you. See you soon. Bye-bye.